This is the Chase Bliss Audio Wom Tone Analog Phaser. And uh, this is a awesome pedal. Sounds great. Uh, it is analog but digitally controlled. We have a bunch of knobs up in front, uh, some switches, two, uh, two switches uh, up here for tap, one for tap, the other for bypass. And uh, we have a little toggle here that uh, saves presets. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And um, that was some uh, Free the Tone Red Jasper going into the Womb Tone uh, phaser and then into some delay from TC Electronic Alter Ego X4. And uh, I'm playing on a Fender Strat into a Vox AC30. Here's the clean signal. <laughs> So this is the warm tone. So we got controls. Um, we have ramp here, which uh, corresponds to the switches on the back of this pedal. And we'll get to that uh, a little bit later. And then uh, we got volume and uh, feed here um, with this pedal. Uh, what this knob does is um, just basically the amount of feedback for the phasing. We have rate, which is sort of our time, uh, sort of the uh, time of the phasing. And we can also tap that time in and then depth uh, adds the phasing sound to the to the dry signal and then we have form here which takes the uh, modulated uh, wave and this shifts the uh, uh, the center point of the wave so to the left the wave goes up quicker it goes down slower to the right it's the opposite it goes up slower goes down quicker and uh, we'll leave it in the middle. And we have tap subdivisions. We have one, two, and four. Basically whole notes, um, uh, half, and then quarter. And here we also have a control here for uh, the wave. The uh, wave is divided into two. So we have, we can choose our um, waveforms for uh, each half of the wave. So the first half we could choose sine triangle or uh, square and we can get really cool sounds by messing around with the switches here and uh, the preset it's we have green preset and a red preset in the middle uh, the pedal um, corresponds to what the knobs are set to and everything is uh, s uh, you can save everything all the parameters because this pedal is analog and it's digitally controlled. So uh, to save, let's say, the red preset, uh, on any preset or any setting, we hold the right switch first, then we hold the left, and the red blinks, and then we saved it to the red. Uh, to save it to the green, we go left and then right. And then it blinks green, and it saves our uh, preset for the green setting. And uh, so let's mess around with the knobs and hear what the pedal does. <laughs>
kind of sounds this uh, phaser can get and they're all storable the presets and the time and everything can be stored so let's take a look at the back of this pedal all right so when we look on the back of the pedal we have 16 dip switches and uh, each eight banks of these uh, dip switches uh, does something different and uh, this basically turns off our function which corresponds to the the rate knob or the ramp knob and uh, so let's say for example the first one is volume so when we turn it on it goes to the on position and uh, then we choose what we want it to do it's set to default to fall so we want it to rise so the volume to rise so what happens uh, when we dip those switches in the back uh, when we hit the pedal on, it will activate that sequence. So if we want it to rise, and then we choose with the ramp our rise time. So uh, let's set it about in the middle. So as we play. To the left is quicker. the right slower so that's the volume and then we could do that same thing to the feed to the rate to the depth and to the form knobs to these uh, five knobs here and uh, and then also we have a uh, bounce uh, function when we turn that on, it basically bounces uh, back and forth through the, let's say, like a volume. So it creates almost like a tremolo sound within the, uh, with a phaser sound. And this will control our speed. So that's really cool. And uh, we can set that to, let's say, uh, we can go to the, the depth and let's hear what that does. cool stuff you can do and also we can do that to the feed have it bounce back and forth and we could set the the uh, speed with this ramp <laughs> Yeah, 
and uh, and so on. So also we have a control called uh, we have the the bounce, we have the stage, and we have mobile. So mobile is basically momentary bypass. So we can it won't latch, but it's it's only on when we hold the switch. And uh, that's really cool. And then we have control, which is R and P. And it's basically uh, controls the tap uh, instead of our ramp controlling the speed when we're on these special functions like tremolo. Um, let's engage that real quick. Like this volume going up and down. And if we hit this switch here, we will control the speed with this uh, tap switch. So that's really cool. This pedal is really flexible. And um, this chooses four or six stage um, uh, phasing. And uh, it's basically creating more phasing or less phasing. And uh, also the the T and the B is the sweep for the expression pedal that we can plug in. And basically, the, uh, the B is uh, the expression pedal will control from wherever our knob is set, and it'll go to the maximum and back to the knob. That'll be our setting on the pedal. Or if we go to the other position, to the T, the expression pedal will control from the position of the knob all the way to the minimum um, amount. So, so we choose which side of the uh, knob we control our parameter on the expression pedal. So that is the Warm Tone Analog Phaser. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out my other videos.